Good morning once again and welcome to Some Good Seeds. Pastor Wayne Hathaway here today. I'm just so thankful for God's Word again this morning. What, what a blessing to uh, pray and ask God to speak to me through His Word for what I need to hear uh, on any given day. And He is so faithful to do that. And I'm thankful again this morning that uh, I, have a, I have a verse to share with you that I, I pray will just really be a blessing to your heart as it has been to mine. Uh, Isaiah 32 through 35 and James chapter 2 are the, the chapters. And as I, as I do this each day, I pray and ask the Lord to show me something. And, you know, he is just faithful to do that. So here, here's what he showed me here in Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. What a great and wonderful verse. Uh, all through these chapters that, I've, that I'm reading here today, Isaiah 32 through 35, uh, all through those chapters, the fate of those who turn away from the Lord is contrasted with the glory of those who follow the Lord. And that is portrayed very clearly here in this passage. Uh, the fate of the unbeliever, well, it isn't glorious at all. Uh, it's just heartbreaking when you know that there are people, sometimes even family members, who have refused to receive the grace of God and the forgiveness of sins. And we know what is going to happen. Uh, it, 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 it causes great sadness and, and causes us, obviously, to spend time in prayer for those loved ones who don't know the Lord. Uh, but the fate of those who love and serve Him is as glorious and wonderful as the fate of those who don't know him and serve him is horrible. And even beyond that, we, well, Paul says that we can't even imagine uh, or even think of what what it's going to be like and how glorious it's going to be. So praise God for that, for this, for this wonderful, wonderful inheritance. And, and furthermore, one of the things that stands out to me in the chapters is the, the reality that God's not through with Israel yet, and uh, he is going to uh, work with them and deal with them. We see that on into uh, the tribulation and, and beyond, but uh, just the realization that God has laid a clear path out for us to follow, and the, the reward for following Christ and for serving him, even when it is difficult, when times are tough, and you feel like throwing in the towel, we have a promise that we hold on to, that we cling to, and the glorious, uh, everlasting joy, he says, is going to be upon him. Uh, there is joy in the presence of the Lord, and, and more glorious and wonderful than we know. So I just want to encourage you this morning. Hang on, friends. Hang on, dear one. Don't give up. God is still on the throne. He's still working and moving. Uh, keep your eyes on Israel because that's the time clock. That's where we see the, the things that are going to take place uh, happening. Uh, and they are going to be the barometer for all of that. So yeah, it's it's a good time to be alive. It's a great time to know the Lord and to continue serving him. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today as you keep on singing and rejoicing in the Lord, knowing that there is joy in the morning. Amen. <laughs>